Hey, I'm Kirby Leesman, and I'm going to show you guys how to install the Wake Makers piggyback kit with the uh, Jabsco timer modules. So it's going to be a fun project. You can see here I use an 07 uh, Mastercraft X-Star. And if any of you guys know to get a really good Wake Alice boat, you need a lot of weight. So it's cool going to be able to piggyback some big 700 sacks from Wake Makers in the back and then got some, uh, some sacks for the front as well. So it'd be nice to be able to just hit a switch. And all these bags are going to fill automatically without taking uh, tons of time to do it with pumps over the side of the boat. So it's going to be a real nice necessity for what we do with Kirby School Awake. And I'm excited to show you guys how we do it. So one of the first things I recommend you do is to get all the stuff you need for your kit, get it all set up, and then go and empty out all the compartments in the boat because you're going to need easy access to all the hoses and all that stuff. So it's just better to start with a clean slate. So you see behind me, we've got all our stuff out of the boat. Give us a nice, um, simple start to this project. So whenever you get your uh, piggy bath kit for the back, you're going to get two hoses, one for the fill, drain uh, into your bag and then one for the vent hose. So you're going to connect these to your bag, this one runs to the tank and this one runs out to your original vent. After you get your factory line pulled off, then you're going to run your fill drain hose from the back compartment through the compartments up to the original hose. Then you're going to take the hose clamp and clamp it together. Alright, so now when it comes to setting up your ballast bag, what you want to do is you have your vent hose up top here plug up the other ones with your wake makers uh, caps and then your, your fill and drain pump is going to go down here in the bottom. Nice and easy and you just put those right on and you're good to go. So your next step here is to trim up some of these lines because these hoses that they send you, they send you more than you actually need just to make sure that you have enough. So as you can see in the compartment here, it's pretty cluttered. Okay, so tell me what you had to do with this hose to shorten it. Well, you had to cut the factory clamp off, and then uh, you're going to end up with one of these, and then you just to put two normal hose clamps on for replacement. So for your vent hose, it's good to be able to get the hose up as high as you can. We're taking zip ties, and we're putting it through the cup holder, and we're going to zip tie the hose up underneath the panel here. So we got our first bag filling back here. Looking good. Got just the right size bag from Wake Makers, so I'm not smashing up against anything in there. Um, so it's a good thing. So for this front piggyback system, it was a lot easier for me just to install it all and then now show you guys. So what you're going to see is we hooked our, looks like our, uh, our fill line down there to the tank, fill drain line. And then up here is your vent line and we got that connected. So this is an extremely important part of uh, getting these hose fittings to clip on there because they're really tight, so heating them up helps to stretch the plastic and get the hose clamp on. So I went from the um, from the original tank and then teed it off to go to each bag. So that's what this looks like right here. So you see them coming up out of the original tank. Got a T right here. One fit into this starboard side bag, and then we run it along the side of the bag here. Then it goes underneath of me into the front of this bag. Now for the vent hose, we ran it from up at the vent, around to the front of this bag, and then around to the port side, back of the bag. Hose comes down, goes into the bag, tees off, goes around again, and then down the side to the back of that bag. You'll see over here, my dad is constantly working that toggle switch back and forth because the timer in this boat is only letting it fill to the factory ballast setting and then you have to keep going back and forth to get it to fill all the way. But to fix this problem, uh, we've got these nice Jabsco uh, timers that's going to allow us to program to the exact amount of time we want these tanks uh, um, to be filling and for the pumps to be running. What we have here is the timer panel with our new Jabsco um, timers in there that can be adjusted for 30 second increments as to where the original uh, timers could only run for six minutes max. I think the max on these is 20 minutes. To get this all set up, we had to um, take out the old ones, cut and splice some of the wires, and uh, get this thing wired in. So now I'm about to put that in the back of the boat, and then we should be off and running and ready to fill.